The early end of that window for sure. Well, not just a big day for SpaceX. Experts say this mission is going to mark a historic step forward for space travel. And joining us now to dig deeper into that is UCF planetary physicist Dr. Phil Metzger. Dr. Metzger, always great to see you. Good morning. Good morning, Ryan. So there's a lot of excitement about this. What is it that's most exciting to you when you look at this Inspiration4 mission? To me, the most exciting thing is that this is opening a new era of space travel because this is a mission that's entirely dedicated to flying citizen astronauts into space. And we hope this is the first of what's going to come, a lot of missions opening the door of space to everybody. You know, it's interesting you mentioned that because I sat down with astronaut Winston Scott about two years ago and he said, Ryan, just wait, all the civilians that are going to be have this door open to them. Uh, what does this mean? I mean, first of all, it's the public confidence. Then they start seeing that. How could this open even a bigger door now? Well, it's all about developing business models for space companies so that we can have a lot of business so that we can bootstrap the economy of the space environment so that you get into this virtuous cycle. The more you can fly, the cheaper it gets, and therefore the more people that can fly, and therefore the cheaper it gets even further still. Yeah, and we could, we've certainly seen it with Blue Origin. We've seen it with Virgin Galactic getting these ready to go and in some cases already going. So how soon, what's the time frame in terms of seeing more launches like this from some of the competitors? Well, I think we're going to be seeing them regularly now. So uh, Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin doing suborbital flights. I think we're going to be seeing those regularly. This is the first one for SpaceX, of course, going into orbit. And um, we're going to be seeing a lot of other commercial activities beginning in the near future. We are going to start seeing companies mining on the moon and mining asteroids developing rocket propellant, which makes space flight cheaper. And uh, we're going to be seeing a lot of other business ideas. I, there are so many companies right now, friends in the community who have started businesses that are uh, manufacturing things in space, and they have other unique ideas that are uh, all these creative business plans are coming to bear right now. And so I think over the coming years, we're going to be seeing a lot more of this. And how it's different is be long. for these companies? I mean, obviously, they deal with professional ast astronauts and people that this is their career. That's not the case with a launch like this. Yes, they've trained, but they're not astronauts. That's right. Um, and, you know, the part of the mission was to be inspirational, hence the name. And they all have very fascinating stories. Cyan Proctor is a friend. And um, we followed her, her uh, path to get onto this mission. Um, and uh, if you don't, if the vi listeners don't know the stories of these people, get to know them because they're all amazing people. That's uh, great stuff for sure. Well, I'm excited. I know a lot of people are. Dr. Metzger, great to see you this morning. Thanks for the insight. You're welcome. And our special coverage of the launch begins tonight, 7.30. Set your alarm. We're going to broadcast it live on our YouTube channel. You can also watch our special newscast. That will be streamed live. So if you're on the go, we got you covered. Fox35Orlando.com.